the primary numerical classification of a turbine is its specific speed. This number describes the speed of the turbine at its maximum efficiency with respect to the power and the flow rate. The specific speed is derived to be independent of turbine size. Given the fluid flow condition and the desired shaft output speed, the specific speed can be calculated using the equation ns equal to n under root of p divided by h to the power 5 by 4. This formula implies that higher the head, the specific speed will get lower. Thus, we have for a Pelton turbine, the head is high, the specific speed will be lower. The Pelton turbine with a higher head has a lower specific speed than Francis and Kaplan. In case of Pelton turbine, we have a specific speed of 0 to 60. For Francis turbine, it is from 60 to 300. And in case of propeller turbine, it is around 300 to 600. And for Kaplan, it is from 600 to 1000. We will introduce the other concept called as unit quantity. The operational characteristics of hydraulic turbines are expressed in terms of unit quantity. These quantities will help us to study the performance of turbine independent of the actual head, the discharge and power. So we define here three quantity, one is called as unit speed, one is as unit power and the third one is called as unit discharge. We know that the velocity u is pi dn by 60 and we have a concept of speed of geometrically similar model. So our dimensions d are same. So u equal to pi dn is normally given by certain function phi equals to 2gh. So diameter is same for both cases. So we can conclude here that n is proportional to n is proportional to under root of h. So we have n equals to certain constant times root h. So we have n unit speed nu equals to n by root h. So constant k is called as unit speed is the speed of geometrically similar model turbine working under a head of 1 meter. In case of power, we have the formula equal to rho into g into q into h. So we can replace q as pi by 4 d square. So we have rho into g, q is replaced as pi by 4 d square into velocity which is equals to again under root 2 gh multiplied by capital H. So from this we find here power is proportional to x to the power 3 by 2. So again if we introduce one constant here, we will get unit power similar to unit speed is power upon h to the power 3 by 2 is called as unit power. It is almost same definition but this time it will develop 1 kilowatt of power. Third case we will define the unit discharge quantity. Discharge is given by area multiplied by velocity. Area we can write as pi by 4 d square and velocity equal to under root 2 gh. So again for symmetrical model, we have q is proportional to root h. So therefore unit discharge q u is given by q upon root h. Is defined in the similar fashion the flow rate of a geometrically similar turbine under a head of 1 meter. Now we will discuss the modeling of a turbine. In this case we have given one model and one prototype and from some data is given for a model and you can calculate data for prototype and vice versa. So you have to use the same equation that is discussed just now. So we have first equation is u equal to pi dn by 60 is equal to phi times under root 2 gh. Since the model and prototype they are of different geometrical scale, so this time d will not get cancelled. So we have d into n is equal to proportional to root h or d square n square is proportional to root h. So for model and prototype this ratio must be fixed. This is called as head coefficient and therefore for head coefficient the value ratio of h by d square by n square for model and prototype are identical. Then we have a flow coefficient which is equals to area into velocity. Area is given by pi by 4 d square and the flow velocity can be given as certain function psi under root of 2 gh. Now pi by 4 psi and under root 2 g is constant. So we have a product of d square q is proportional to d square into root h. We know that the root h is proportional to dn. Check the equation of u. u is equal to pi dn by 60. So we can modify this q as q is proportional to d square into dn. So hence the flow coefficient is given by dq into n. So this ratio is constant for common for both. 
model and prototype and finally we will try to for express for power now power is given by rho g q into capital H into O so this term can be written as q can be replaced as d cube into n as we have previously proved and h we can write as d square n square see the head coefficient so we can write power equal to power is proportional to d to the power 5 n cube so we have power coefficient is p divided by d to the power 5 n cube 